At this time, I'd like to introduce Bob McElvain, a father of Bobby McElvain, who was killed by an explosion in the lobby of the North Tower. Mr. Mr. McElvain. On 9-11, Bobby, you know, convinced, I know for sure that he died before the towers were hit. We took him home, what, two days after 9-11, and we buried him the following week. Uh, he was found immediately. He, uh, we took him, he was in the morgue before the buildings came down. Over the years, I've had a very difficult time with 9-11 family members because the biggest problem of 9-11, people talking about it, is who did it. And it just goes from one person to another, to this or that, did Bush do it, did Cheney do it, to, you know, the secret state, the secret team. You know, it just goes on and on and on and on. And it's very important. But mine is that these buildings were purposely demolished. I think even thinking about the planes, take that out of your mind. These buildings were blown up. The idea was to blow up the buildings. Planes had nothing to do with it. That was for show, and I don't want to diminish what happened to the people who died because of the planes, but that was all for show. So get that out of your mind, and you have to do your research. Why was this done? But getting back to the buildings, uh, the 9-11 Commission, now I made every 99.9% .9 of the commission hearings, and it was a joke. And at first I was trying to be very attentive. And I think uh, it was after Condoleezza Rice. And if, I wish I could have punched her in the mouth. I was so upset. That's when I said, I was, I was working with 9-11 Family for Peaceful Memorials. For, I went to Japan. We, I was a, a real anti-war activist. After listening to Condoleezza Rice, I said, I'm devoting my life to this, finding out what happened, who murdered my son, Bobby. She stood up there and filibustered her way through the, the commission hearing. So after that, I had interviews, and I just I lost my temper to everyone I spoke to. So since then, I have an awful temper about that. I can't deal with 9-11 family members because they don't want to hear what I have to say, and I don't blame them. But I, I don't like being up at ground zero today. My son's up there now, but I can't stand it because a couple of years ago, someone started screaming at me that I would say such a thing that Muslims, I, I would tell her, Muslims had nothing to do with Bobby's death. Bobby died before the plane hit. So how can I say Muslims had anything to do with my death? And how many millions and millions and millions and millions of people have died in the Middle East because of this? Now, getting back to the commission report, this is what the commission had to say about um, the building coming down. I, I won't spend that much time. A jet fuel fireball erupted upon impact and shot down at least one bank of elevators. The fireball exploded onto numerous lower floors, including the 77th and 22nd, West Street lobby levels, and the B4 level, four stories below. Well, that's the biggest crock you ever heard in your life. They spent maybe 30 seconds making that up. They did no investigation. So that's, my son was murdered. They spent no time investigating what happened in those buildings. Zero. They didn't talk about the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th, where the FBI had investigations going there that no one knew about. Why were they, those floors were demolished before the planes were hit? Why is that? That was even on uh, Peter Jennings' show. 60 Minutes did a, a show on that. And what do we, no one, no one hears this. Of course, that's shut down. No one talks about it. The press don't talk about it. Doesn't talk about it. So it, it's just, people have to do their homework. They have to, to believe. And, and again, that's where, going back to history, why would they blow up the buildings? Well, there's a lot of research that goes into it. I don't have the time to talk about that. But it was a, that was the crime, blowing up the buildings. And I really don't care what country, what people were involved in it. It's an international event. It's the Western Empire. That's what they do. That's what they do best. Human lives don't matter. Bobby was killed by an explosion. Bobby died before the planes hit. So we got a big time problem. Who blew up these damn buildings? And, but people keep coming up with their own theories. That's what's killing the thing, the, the whole movement, I think. It, you really do have to understand history, that this is what empires do. So I'm not blaming it on the United States. I'm not blaming it on Israel. Hey, they're all part of it. And you can figure out why. And, and to me, it was a financial crime, but we can get to, there were so many other reasons, oil, so forth and so on. 
the most important thing for me to say, Muslims had nothing, zero, to do with Bobby's murder, period. Okay.